In this video, we're going to be going over how to loft different shapes like a windshield. Um, so if we head over to BrickLink, again, BrickLink is a great resource for um, finding out what the actual size of your more difficult shapes to make are. Um, so we see that this windshield is two bricks by four bricks by two bricks tall. So if we click on our shape, we can actually view it in 3D. Um, if you go over to the 3D viewer, and again, you can click on this, you can rotate, you can see any side that you need to see. Um, so if we look at our bottom here, we can see, yeah, it's four bricks by two bricks and definitely two bricks tall. It looks like this bottom portion is only one plate tall. Um, and we'll also notice from our loft that it lofts uh, from the plate um, and that the front corners are rounded. So let's do that. Um, so let's over, head over to on shape. We'll do a sketch on our top face and let's look at our top face. So what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to grab our line tool, click on um, our center circle, and I'm just going to go up 15.6 because that is two bricks. Um, again, to make the, your life a lot easier, I would change your workspace units to millimeters. Um, they default to inches and Legos work with millimeters, so I would definitely switch those over. Um, this is 31.2, so that's four bricks. And then I'm going to try and make this little center cutout as well before we loft. 7.8, 13.5, 13.5. Connect and connect. Uh, the last thing that I'm going to do before um, we add any planes or start our next sketch is we're going to do this sketch fillet. Um, and what this does is this allows me to round those corners. Uh, oop, I got to go back and do the other one. We'll do sketch fillet. We'll do our top line to our right line and we'll say okay. So essentially, we have the bottom portion of this windshield now drawn. Um, now what we need to do is we need to create a work plane uh, on top of this work plane. Um, we know that um, our Lego bricks are 9.6 millimeters tall, so we need two of those, so 19.2. And now this second work plane is the exact height that we need it to be. Um, again, since we have two different sketch planes, we can uh, do extrude. We can click on our bottom shape, and we know that Lego plates are 3.2 millimeters tall. So there's essentially the little plate now that we're going to loft up to our next sketch. So we'll do a sketch on our new top plane one, and I'm essentially just going to draw this next little portion of this windshield. So I'm going to grab my line tool. I'll start down here. We're going to go up 7.8. We'll go over 31.2, 7.8, go over 7.8. And this next step right here, again, this is what, you know, again, if we were in class and we had our dial calipers, um, we could measure this distance right here, um, right here. Um, again, I'm going to just guess and say that this is a wall thickness um, dimension. So we know that that's 1.2. So if we take 7.8 minus 1.2, we got 6.6. .6. We'll come over here and we'll do 15.6. We'll come down 6.6 .6 and over 7.8. So um, the last thing we need to do is make sure that we again round these front corners. That looks, oh, I always forget to do that second one. Sketch fillet top line to right line again same angle that we did in the one below. And you can actually start to see how this is gonna loft before we even choose loft. So I'm gonna choose our loft command, we'll choose our sketch, and then we will choose our extruded shape. And you can see that, wow, that looks awesome. That looks just like our uh, windshield. Um, so again, we can say finish sketch. And again, last thing you could do is here is you could go up here and you could add the studs in. Um, again, for right now, for eyeballing it, this is okay. If you want to go back in and you wanted to add out or subtract out these little dimples, 
um, add the studs in and then hollow it out. You could do that as well. Um, but essentially, this is how you would use the loft command uh, to create uh, different shapes and on shape like this windshield.